Hello grade 4 learners! Welcome to our online class! I hope you are as ready as I am to start learning and have fun! Today we're going to talk about the heat transfer and its different ways on how to transfer the heat like conduction, convection, and radiation. Are you wondering how did this happen? Melting of batter, boiling of water, and drying of wet clothes. Well, we all know that it happens if they are exposed to heat. But how does the heat travel to each material? Let us identify first the molecules of solid, liquid, and gas. You only have 30 seconds to answer. Let us now check your answer. The second picture is the solid molecules, wherein it held in fixed pattern but vibrating. And the third picture is the liquid molecules. The molecules pack closely together in a random fashion, but they are free to move. The first picture shows the gas molecules, which widely separated and move at a great space. Let us now proceed in discussing heat. Ang heat o init is a form of energy associated with the motion of particles or yung paggalaw ng mga particles o bumubuo sa isang bagay. And it is capable of being transmitted or kaya nitong maipasa sa iba't ibang bagay. Like for example, kapag sa solid and liquid, it is true by conduction and convection. And through empty space, it is by radiation. Heat is also called a thermal energy. But how heat travels or paano nga ba naipapasa ang heat o init? Ang pagpapasa ng init ay magsisimula sa hot o mainit na bagay papunta sa cold o malamig na bagay tulad ng nasa larawang inyong nakikita. Ang bawat bagay ay binubuo ng molecules. Ito ay ang napakaliit at hindi natin kayang makita sa loob ng isang bagay. Ang mainit na molecules kapag dumikit sa isa pang molecules ay maipapasa nito ang kanyang heat energy o init. Tandaan, kapag ang molecules ay mainit, sila ay excited o magalaw. Ibig sabihin, sila ay kikilos ng mabilis. At ang ibig sabihin din ito, kapag mas maraming heat energy ang naipasa, ang molecule ay magbabibrate ng mas mabilis. At dahil dito, ang isang bagay ay mas nagiging mainit. Then, how does heat travel in solid? Yes, it is through conduction. The heat energy is transferred through direct contact. Ibig sabihin, kailangan may physical contact o magkadikit o magkatabi ang dalawang bagay. Maaari ito ay solid or liquid upang maipasa ang heat energy. Like for example, the metal frying pan that is exposed to fire. Yung init o heat na mula sa apoy ay maipapasa sa frying pan at unti-unting iinit ito. At kapag nahawakan mo ang frying pan, naipapasa nito ang heat energy sa iyong kamay. Some example of conduction is when frying meat. So when frying meat, the meat becomes hot. The heat from a hot coffee makes the cup itself hot. And the metal spoon becomes hot from the boiling water inside the cup. There are materials that are good conductors. 
conductors or materials that allow heat to flow through easily. Ibig sabihin, mas mabilis itong umiinit. So like for example, metals. These metals could be made of iron, aluminum, nickel, silver, steel, alloy, copper, coal, and many more. That's why yung mga ginagamit sa kusina na pangluto ay gawa sa metal kasi mas mabilis silang umiinit. And as well as stone and water are good conductors. We also have insulators. These are the materials in which heat passes slowly or not at all. Ibig sabihin, mas mabagal may pasa ang init sa hanila or hindi talaga nakakatanggap ng init. Like for example, glass, plastic, ceramic, paper, wood, fabric, rubber, and foam. Another way on how the heat transfers through liquid materials is called convection. Convection is a transfer of heat from one place to another by movement of fluids. Sa convection, ang heat ay naipapasa sa pamamagitan ng paggalaw ng fluids. And fluids are phase of matter that includes liquids, gases, and plasma. Convection involves the motion of fluids and currents, wherein the warm molecules will rise and cold molecules will sink and continuously moving. It is called the convection current. Example of convection current is when we boil water. Kapag tayo ay nagpapakulo ng tubig, ang unang iinit ay ang nasa ilalim because it is the nearest area that the molecules could pass its heat energy. So kapag mainit na ang water molecules sa ilalim, ito ay gagaan at aakyat sa itaas. Ang malamig naman o yung cold water molecules naman ay bababa at siya naman ang magiging mainit. At kapag mainit na ito, ito naman ang aakyat at ganun din ang mangyayari sa ibang molecules hanggang ang lahat ay makatanggap ng heat energy. Ito na ang nakikita natin na pagkulo ng tubig. Remember that convection current cause a circular motion or paikot. And it follows also the trend of heat transfer which is from hot to cold. Another example of convection is the hot air balloon. Pinapainit ng heater ang air sa bahagi ng isang hot air balloon. So yung hot air molecules ay aakyat at matatrap ito ng balloon. At kapag sapat na ang hot air sa itaas ng balloon, ito ay aakyat. At kapag ibababa naman ang balloon, magbabawas ng hot air ang pilot at mapapalitan ito ng cold air. Another example of convection is the sea breeze and land breeze or yun tinatawag natin na mainit na simoy at malamig na simoy ng hangin. The third way is the heat transfer through air and it is called the radiation. Radiation means that the transfer of heat is in the form of waves across empty space or vacuum without any medium. Ibig sabihin, hindi kailangan na magkatabi ang dalawang object para maipasa ang heat energy. Example of radiation is when we have campfire. So we feel the heat from the campfire even in a distance. And the heat in air radiation is called the radiant energy. Another example of radiation are the following. Sunlight from the sun to the earth, taking an x-rays, and baking in a microwave. Tingnan ang mga halimbawa ng radiation. Ang radiant energy ay naipapasa mula sa isang object papunta sa isang object kahit hindi sila magkatabi. It is because the electromagnetic waves carry the energy towards the other object. Let's try this. Identify the following heat transfer whether it is through conduction, convection, or radiation. First picture, 
baking in an oven. Second picture, frying an egg. Third picture, sunbathing on the beach. And four, boiling of water. You only have 30 seconds to answer. Very good grade for learners. And now let's try this last activity. All you have to do is identify the methods of heat transfer in the given illustration. Let us check your answer. That's it for today! Sana'y nakatulong sa inyo ang ating lesson ngayon. See you again and keep safe everyone!